Loeffler syndrome is a serious but rare respiratory infection that can take doctors months to diagnose. In the most severe cases, that critical time can lead to organ damage. Ursula Perry shows us how one young man will be especially thankful this year and how he was able to beat the odds. Chow mein with extra veggies is Justin's signature dish. The 16-year-old is so into cooking that he's even written a cookbook. A big deal considering that up until just a few months ago, he was on a GI feeding tube. My health growing up wasn't the best. When he was uh, just barely two years old, we found something terribly wrong with him. Rashes and a fever were a few of his symptoms, but it was a blood test that led doctors to a diagnosis of Loeffler syndrome. Loeffler syndrome is super rare, and it's a blood disorder where you have too much of eosinophils, which is a type of white blood cell. And one of the many problems with having this disease is that these cells can build up in the heart and cause the heart not to function well. A chemotherapy drug was able to slow down the disease, but not before his heart started failing. At age six, Justin had the first of two open heart surgeries. But we knew from a pretty early age that at some point he was going to have to have a heart transplant. That reality came just last year. My health was decreasing at an exponential rate. Justin was really lucky. He was only on the heart transplant list for 17 days before we found a donor. His life is a miracle. Out of the over 400 transplants we've done here, he is the only child with Loeffler syndrome. I still have Loeffler syndrome to this day, but it's being very controlled and it's going to be all right from now on. Loeffler syndrome can affect more than just the heart. It can also affect the lungs and the liver. Justin's story is unique, and he's encouraging others to find out more about it. So you can check him out on his own website, myhearttransplantjournal.com. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.